Very simple question. Can we trust Allah? Answer no. How we knew that the Quran says so? The Quran say clearly that nobody is secure from Allah. Do you feel secure from the deception of Allah? And by the way, here they said, secure against Allah plan. Where is the word plan coming from? There's no plan. It says, makrullah. Makrullah. Nobody is secure from the deception of Allah. That's why my book is called Deception of Allah. Allah is the best of al makirin وَمَكَرُوا وَمَكَرَ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَاكِرِينَ <laughs> And here again, the lies, this is the translation supposedly, and they, the disbeliever, plotted to kill Isa, you stupid, you said the Jews, they did kill him, so how they are disbelievers? Are they Jews or not? If they are Jews, they are not disbelievers. They are believers. They kill Isa, Jesus, Allah planned to Huh? What is the word? See? See here, look, look, look at the deception. Here they use the word plotted. The same word they say the plan too when it's come to Allah. You see the deception? It's the same exact word which they should say Allah plotted too. Change the translator. Go to different donkey. Huh? Look at this guy. They planned and Allah planned and Allah the best of planning. But the fact doesn't say that. وَمَكَرُوا وَمَكَرُوا اللَّهُ they, they, they decide to deceive, which means they have a, a dirty game, dirty plan. And Allah is a deceiver, but He is the best of deceivers. Muhammad himself, he said, showing you that you cannot trust someone, his name is Allah. There is none among you who is deed alone would stain, attain, sorry, attain salvation. It doesn't say that in Arabic. This is absolutely a garbage translation. Anyone who speaks Arabic can knew that. Let's read in Arabic. None of you, his deed will attain him salvation. What is your deed? Converting to Islam, saying Shahada, praying to Allah five times, going to do jihad, etc. This is the deed of a Muslim all his life. Killing some Christians, some Jews, some Hindus. So your deed will not secure you to go to heaven. So what will secure me? They said to him, not even you, Prophet. He said, not even I, but that Allah warp me with in his mercy and he grant me burden. Do you see it? And by the way, here the translation is false. When he said here, not even I, huh? he says, Illa an except, not the translation is false again, except if he warp me, if he warp me with his mercy and grant me burden. Same hadith, different translation. Just to show you the deception, amazing how, how they deceive. The Messenger of Allah said, follow the right path, face strictly, etc. and stay uh, fast and keep in your mind, okay? And then he said, and keep in mind that none of you achieve salvation through his good actions, his deeds. See, here there's no word alone. What happened? The same, the same story, the word alone is gone. Because it makes a huge difference by saying alone. He did not say alone. And then someone asked, not even you, Messenger of Allah? He said, not even I, unless Allah. You see, unless it's a condition. And the other translation, they make it, Allah granted me. But here it's not granted him yet. Unless Allah granted me, grants me his mercy and grace. Muhammad himself is not sure he will go to heaven. In the top of that, I don't want to forget this. Additional to all what we said, which Allah is not a spirit, spiritual way, Islam is a physical reward, is a physical act, is a, is a ritual, physical ritual, nothing is spiritual. But look at this. Muslim, they believe in destiny. So how you can have a relationship if you are not free? Here we notice we can't trust Allah. Allah is, Allah is a deceiver. Hmm? Allah is a deceiver. Actually, in different hadith, he said, لا آمن مكر الله. In fact, they say that the one who trusts Allah is one of the biggest sin in Islam. <laughs> this is a fatwa. The question is, I will translate the whole page. 
to English. Can we feel secure from the deception of Allah? Can we feel secure from Makr Allah? It says here, he's quoting a hadith, La amen makr Allah. I cannot trust the deception of Allah, the, 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 the plotted plan of Allah. And then, وَإِنْ كَانَتْ إِحْدَى قَدَمَيَّ فِي الْجَنَّةِ Even if one of my foot is in heaven. And this is, in your side, it says, and this is a word, this is a statement or hadith, coming from Abi Bakr al-Siddiq, the Caliphate. Abi Bakr al-Siddiq saying, I cannot trust Allah, the deception of Allah, even if I have one foot inside heaven. It's not enough to trust him. So can you explain to me, he's saying, can you explain to me what does that mean? Here they are saying to him, thank you for etc. asking us, and look what he says. And Ibn Mas'ud from Ibn Mas'ud, one of the biggest scholars of Islam, and his companion of Muhammad, who Muslim, they should take his Quran, by the way, but they throw it in the garbage. قال, أكبر الكبائر الإشراك بالله والأمن من مكر الله. From the biggest sin ever a human being can do against Allah is to take, to associate with him someone, to worship, and to trust Allah. That he will not deceive you. Um, to, to be secure from the makr of Allah. Translation to English. Again, this is the question saying, the person he is loving you in the name of Allah, whatever. I do not believe, and which means I don't trust. La aman makr Allah. Not I believe here. La aman here. The word amana is not the same as iman. Aman here, I am secure. I don't trust Allah deception. Even if one of my feet in heaven, and the guy saying this hadith is mentioned in one of your pages in your website, and it's connected or recited by Abu Bakr Siddiq, the Caliphate, the father of, uh, of uh, uh, Aisha. Here they say to him, "Thank you for your noble question." All right, and now he says, Ibn Mas'ud said. Anyone secure from the sight of Allah. This is one of the biggest sin. Translation is not too much accurate, but it's, you know, one of the biggest sin against Allah to do is to associate someone with him and to feel secure from the sight of Allah or deception of Allah. You see it? From the authority of Ibn Mas'ud said, he said, the biggest sins of is associating with Allah and to feel secure from Allah deception. Do you see it? So how in the world does religion have us anything spiritual? If we have a God who is deceiver, he's the devil, we cannot trust him even if our one of our foot is in heaven already, I am not sure. And why Abu Bakr is saying that? We go to Muhammad. We have to connect the dot and I will try to finish with this because the video will go forever if I keep continue because I can give endless reference to, we busted already, I mean from long time ago. Look what Muhammad said. This is the mad Muhammad saying to us something very stupid and will make anyone have little intellect to leave Islam immediately. Muhammad here is speaking about how we can trust Allah. Let us see how we can trust him. And by Allah, a person among you or a man may do the deeds of people of the fire till there is only a cupid or an arm breathe distance between him and the fire but then that is written by Allah between two bracket which Allah ordered the angels to write this is your destiny when Allah he created you he sent the angel and he write inside you either kafir go to hell to fire or you are a believer go to heaven so what is spirituality it's a predestined religion read carefully so this person is doing the act of people of hellfire and almost there's a cupid or an arm breathe distance. He's almost in hell. And between him and fire. But then the right in which Allah has order, the angels right, proceed and he does the deeds of the people of paradise and he enter paradise. <laughs> and then he said the opposite again, that a man, another man, he will be doing the, the deeds of people of heaven all his life praying to Allah, going to the Kaaba, insulting Christian prince, threatening the Armenian to wipe them out of the ground like Erdogan, when I kill the Jews, etc. 
So a man, he may do the deeds of people of paradise. And the deed of paradise in Islam to hate everyone else. Till there is only a cupid, you are almost in the, in the doorstep of the paradise. And then the written proceed and he does the deeds of people of fire and he enter it. Where is spirituality? They speak about spirituality. What we see is killing, kidnapping, torturing, suicide bombing. You name it. Where is the spirituality? Maybe you are connected with the spirit of the devil, but not with God. Because everything you do is devilish. If you are connected with the true God and you have a spiritual connection with God, then you will reject all kind of act of violence and hatred. And you follow the Messiah where he said, love your enemy. When the Almighty God speak, the filthy Satan, he got busted. 